Chapter 485 Yen was utterly shocked when he heard his assistant's words. His father was dead. He died after taking the magic medicine that he sent to him? This, how could this be possible? Could it be that the magic medicine was poison itself? As he thought about it, Yin was really very angry and frightened. He wished that he could confront Alex in person. Alex actually dared to cheat his family out of $15 billion and poison his old man to death? Wasn't he a little too cruel? However, Yin knew that he would never be able to defeat Alex. So, what was the use of confronting him? His father was already dead and it would be completely impossible for him to resurrect him and bring him back to life. Yen also knew that it would be impossible for Alex to return the $15 billion to him. At this time, Yen's assistant hurriedly said, Mr. Yen, you should find a place to hide in Oris Hill. Do not show your face for the time being. I am guessing that there will be many Chinese gang members and killers who would be going to Oris Hill to hunt you down and kill you tomorrow. Yen could not help but panic and feel even more anxious after listening to his assistant's words. This was terrible. His brother was offering a cash reward of 5 billion yuan for his own head. At this time, Yen suddenly remembered what Alex said before he left. At this time, Yen quickly begged Stephen to bring him back to Alex. It seemed as though Alex had already expected something like this to happen. That bastard. He was the one who specifically set up this trap and poisoned his father to death. At this time, Yen could not wait to smash Alex into pieces. However, as he thought about it, Yen knew that he would never be able to return to China for the time being. Moreover, he would have nowhere to hide in Oris Hill when the Chinese gang members came looking for him tomorrow. It seemed as though Alex was his only chance of survival. After all, Alex had a strong background in the country and no matter which Chinese gang members came at him, they could not possibly be Alex's opponent at all. Therefore, Yen hurriedly begged Stephen, Don Stephen. Please. Could you please send me back to Mr. Anderson? Please. Stephen nodded faintly before he pulled the car over and walked over to the front passenger seat. After that, he opened the car door before he dragged Yen out and started punching and beating him without saying a single word at all. After getting beaten up, Yen yelled, Don Stephen, what are you doing? Stephen simply replied, this is what Mr. Anderson had instructed me to do. He said that if you asked me to bring you back to him, I should beat you up first before bringing you back to see him. After that, Stephen continued kicking and beating up Yen who was lying on the ground at this time. Even though Stephen was much older than Yen, he was a mobster boss and his physical fitness was different from an ordinary person's. After getting hit a few times, Yen was already feeling dizzy but he did not dare to say anything at all out of fear that Stephen would just abandon him and leave him to die. After beating him up, Stephen dragged Yen up to his feet before throwing him into the car and heading back to the dog farm. When they returned to the dog farm, Yen realized that his remaining four men had already been fed to the dogs. As soon as Yen was brought in front of Alex, Yen cried as he questioned Alex, Mr. Anderson, why did you use fake medicine to lie to us? My father is now dead and my brother is out to take my life to avenge my father's death. How could you be so vicious? Alex curled his lips before he said contemptuously, you Chinese fool. Is there something wrong with your brains? When did I ever give you any fake medicine or lie to you?